Due to uncertainties in global economy, the job market is not that great either in US or India or different parts of the world. What we can do to get a good job in this market? What we can do with the scary job description that is all over LinkedIn and job portals? I was talking to one of the job seeker and the person is telling me he is scared when he is reading the job description. In this video, I am going to tell you in less than 10 minutes how you should read and act on scary job descriptions. First thing is, whatever they are writing in the JD, right? Remember, it's the wish list, not the strict list. There is a difference, guys. In Flipkart and in Amazon, right? You create a wish list. You don't purchase everything, right? So wish list is companies are wishing candidates would have all these things. That's not a strict list. Don't get scared by looking at the long list. Even if you are having 60 to 70 percent of match, that is absolutely fine. No problem with that. OK, please keep that in mind. You will find all the fancy keywords, all the fancy jargons in the JD. Don't get scared with that. That is point number one. OK, point number two is if you are able to showcase willingness to learn with 60 to 70 percent match that I told you, right? What you have to present yourself is here are the 60 to 70 percent match. Rest I am willing to learn. OK, if you can present yourself like, like that, your chances will be better. The next point I want to talk about here is many people, especially freshers and even people with mid to senior level of experience, right? What they do is they read the JD and they think that they are not suitable for the role. Now, who are you to select or who are you to say that you are suitable or you are not suitable? It's the person who has put the job, right? It's the person who has put the job on the portal. They should say whether you are suitable or not suitable, not you, correct? So this, this phenomenon is basically called self-rejection. Don't you yourself reject and don't, you know, restrict yourself by taking the next step. Don't stop yourself for taking the next step don't self-reject. There may be possibility that the guys have prepared a job description such a difficult JD that they are not getting a lot of applications only. That is one possibility. There is a possibility that this company is a very new company. They don't know how to prepare a good JD also. Okay. So in that case, requirement may be something else, JD may be something else. Okay. Th these kind of possibilities are there. So don't worry much about what it is saying. Don't self-reject yourself. Once you have understood these three key points, right? 60-70% match is fine. It's just a wish list and I am not going to self-reject myself. Then what you need to do in this competitive job market, right? Go and research about the company. Now, how will you research about the company? Suppose I'm applying for Walmart, okay? I will go and search Walmart new AI initiatives in Google or I will search Walmart AI solutions or Walmart AI, you know, anything related to Walmart AI products or anything. Okay. I will have an idea of what kind of work might be happy, happening in the Walmart. And then I will read the JD and then I will try to understand how I can fit in into this. Because my objective is when I sit in the interview, right, I should be able to showcase that I am fitting into this. That's my objective. My objective is not to showcase that I am the best data scientist. No, my objective is to showcase that I am fitting into your requirement with a decent skill set and willingness to learn. OK, so research about the company as much as you can. Next thing is once you have researched about the company, right? Always, always keep in mind that one resume and one cover letter will not work in this tough job market scenario. OK, one common resume, one common cover letter is not going to work. You have to keep tweaking your cover letter, keep tweaking your resume based on where you are applying and where you are reading the JD or where you are going to apply. For example, if there are three projects in my resume, right? And in JD, I see that they are looking for an anomaly detection kind of huge case or something in that area, right? What I will do is I will pull that project up, something related to uh, segmentation, something related to isolation forest or anomaly direction or anything like that, right? I will just put it on the top and I will talk more about that when I talk to them. So keep changing your 
वर्डिंग्स ऑफ द कवर लेटर वर्डिंग्स ऑफ द रिज्यूमे द क्रोनोलॉजी ऑफ द प्रोजेक्ट्स एंड हाउ डू यू प्रजेंट इट दैट विल गिव यू अ बेटर चांसेस एंड द रिज्यूमे एंड द कवर लेटर वर्डिंग्स वट आर यू सेंग वट आर यू शो केसिंग इन योर कवर लेटर यू कैन गेट वेरी नाइस कवर लेटर फॉर्मेट्स ऑन द गूगल ओके दोज थिंग्स नीड टू चेंज दैट 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 एक्स्ट्रा एफर्ट यू हैव टू टेक ओके आफ्टर दैट मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग यर इज यू हैव टू शो केस योर ट्रांसफरेबल स्किल्स वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ ट्रांसफरेबल स्किल्स इट्स वेरी सिंपल सपोज आई हैव वर्क डॉन एस क्यू एल इन ओरेकल ओके एंड आई एम गोइंग टू अप्लाई फॉर ए जॉब इन somewhere where microsoft sql is being used or where teradata is being used what i should do is i should stand on the roof and shout okay i am just telling it literally what you should do and say that my skill set is oracle but i can work in teradata because these two are more or less same both of these use sql i know sql i have worked in sql so i can work in teradata okay any kind of transferable skill for example i am a python guy i used to work in python in data science there is a r requirement i will just shout i will say that i have done everything in python but python is also i have used for data science r is also being used for data analysis data science i have done abc xyz course in r i have done one or two poc in r i can very well work in r these are called transferable skills that you have to keep talking keep talking keep talking even if that is not in your resume okay and then anticipate questions based on the gd so three levels i am talking about here first when you are reading the gd don't get stressed what is written there am i fit or not fit don't think those things okay some match is there you are good to go next tweak the resume and cover letter based on the company and showcase your transferable skill and once all these things happen right you keep reading the gd you keep reading what this company does and you anticipate gd based questions if in gd they have written nltk if in gd they have written let's say gen ai maybe they will ask gen ai related questions even if you don't know gen ai right can you talk 2 minutes about gen ai can you talk 5 minutes about how you will be able to do the justice to the role how you are willing to learn and how your past skill set will contribute to what is the requirement okay if you keep a mixture of these three things right then i am sure first you will get the interview call second your profile will be shortlisted and third you will do much better than the interview than the your, your previous interview okay i'll see you all in the next video guys please don't forget to give a thumbs up if you like this video and wherever you are stay safe and take care